This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Zach Parker is back on the ring, live on BT Sport, July 10th, Royal Albert Hall. Looking forward to boxing at Royal Albert Hall? Yeah, yeah it's going to be a good, um, obviously where the Royal Ballet is, so yeah, it's going to be a good, uh, good little bit, good little show. Uh, obviously, some top boys on there, Dennis McCann, uh, Yard, uh, Lyndon Arthur, um, it's going to be a good show. Most definitely will. Um, last time out was destructive, I think that's the, the, the correct term to use. Um, how do we better? Uh, going into the July 10th, Zach? Yeah, um, obviously got a good win against Vaughan and Alexander. Uh, and, uh, I just plan to build on that with every fight. Um, I want to I want to keep pleasing the fans and the fans want knockouts. So that's what I'll just try and, try and, uh, try and do every fight. So you're in a, a great position uh, with the WBO, but taking a, a tough fight again where you really didn't have to uh, comes in a, with a really good amateur pedigree. Yeah, just talk me talk to me about your opponent uh, on July 10th. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough opponent. Um, I think it's won 22, only lost two against like top opposition. Um, so he's going to come to win, former Olympian, and I think he got a silver medal in the World Championships as an amateur as well. So he ain't no mug, and uh, he's going to be coming to going to come in to take my number one spot, and uh, I can't I can't allow that. Uh, I, I've worked too hard for it, and uh, I, just, I know I know my ability. My ability is ten times better than this lad. So uh, as long as I perform on the night, it should be easy. So you don't want to put pressure on yourself to get the knockout. The main thing is to get the win. But after that last performance, uh, you're looking to please fans again. Uh, everyone tuning on BT Sport with another big, uh, dirty knockout, Zach. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, obviously, I want to get as much exposure as I can. And uh, that's the only, only way to do that is getting knockouts and being exciting. And uh, that's what I plan to do. Um, I, with all my fights, I've, I've got 14 knockouts, but all the other fights, what uh, I, ain't, I ain't stopped. I've either put down or uh, um, I, 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 like, I hit hard with both hands and uh, I, I land, I land clean. I make sure I'm accurate. At it. And uh, yeah, and I, I'm, I'm, I want another knockout, but can't, can't put anything out of it yet. It's all secrets. <laughs> <laughs> of course, um, it, you're in that spot for pound for pound number one uh, against Canelo Alvarez. And uh, see, we see we see Billy Joe Saunders put up a valiant performance last time. Is there anything you take away from Billy Joe's performance uh, before the stoppage that you think, yeah, I'm having a look at that, and I think I could also utilise that against Canelo? Was there anything? It might not have been, but was there anything? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, Billy Joe's got the right style for Canelo. Awkward southpaw movement. Uh, it just I didn't think he was big enough for the weight uh, for super middleweights. Uh, his natural middleweight um, in, in like the likes of like me and like obviously Cam Smith and that we punch heavy like with every shot and uh, I, he wouldn't be able to push me back as much as he did um, with Billy Joe Canelo wouldn't um, and that, that's what I, I take I take a lot from every fight I learn off even if it ain't in, against one opponent what I'm looking at I, I learn off every fighter I take little bits of each off each fighter like even in past like I like Perno Whitaker and that. I take little bits off each fight and then add it to my game. You mentioned Callum Smith there. Obviously, he did get dominated across them 12 rounds. Where do you think he went wrong, Zach? Obviously, he's a different sort of style. Um, he don't move as much. He just stands in there and he wants to trade. And you can't do that against Canelo. He's too, he's too clever for the. His head movement is too much, and uh, it's, it's, it would be too easy for him to, to stand there and throw with him. Uh, you got a bit of movement. Uh, you got like a lot of movement, like Billy Joe did, and. Uh, that's what I take off both of them. I can hit like Callum Smith and I can move like Billy Joe. Variety then for Canelo. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Um, I, I don't think he's ever boxed like a switch hitter. But my, everyone, everyone who I sparred or boxed said it was so awkward. Couldn't he, couldn't land a full full shot on me. Like, uh, and that's what I plan to do every, every fight. I don't, I don't, I just want to get get him out of there in good fashion. I know they're trying to secure the undisputed fight with Caden Plant. If he does become undisputed, he might stick at 168, defend his belts, but you don't know what he could do. He could go up to light every way. He, he can do what he wants, really, Canelo. So you can't really depend or, or focus your career around him. If, if that Canelo fight for the mandatory thing doesn't come your way, there are big domestic fights, uh, the likes of Chris Eubank Jr., John Ryder, um, who knows, maybe even Callum Smith or Billy Joe. Um, do you think... You know, with a good performance July 10th, another couple of good performances that people are going to start having to notice Zach Parker, which probably wasn't happening before. Yeah, that's it. I, I've come under the radar. Everyone says this, I've come on the radar, but anyone who's been in the ring with me knows what I can do, knows my ability. Um, obviously, Canelo wants to uh, uh, be undisputed and fight Seller Plant, uh, but uh, I ain't going to wait around for him. 
even if I'm Manchester, I want to take these big fights. I want to get bigger in Britain. And uh, that's what these British lads, um, Chris Eubank, uh, John Ryder, Rockfield, and these sort of lads. And uh, if, any, if any of them do want to fight, I'm, I'm here and waiting. Uh, Frank, Frank can uh, match me against any of them any, like, any day of the week. And uh, yeah, I, 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 want, I want to keep getting bigger and bigger. And that's the only way I'm going to do it, getting my name out there against these top lads and uh, putting, on, putting on devastating performances. Now you jump in with someone like Chris Eubank Jr. tomorrow. Um, a lot of fighters obviously call his name. He's got a big name, big profile. Um, what do you think about him as, as a fighter, though? And if you were to go in with Chris Eubank Jr., what happens, Zach? Obviously, he's um, been there and done it. He's, he's been box the likes of George Groves, James Dale. He's been been there with a top a lot uh, a lot of top lads, but um, they was all on the last legs as well. James Gale, he was he was getting on a bit then, and he's been hard fight after hard fight. Um, obviously, he's, uh, he, he he brings to the table like he's, he's fit, he's really fit. That's probably the best thing he brings to the table. Um, boxing wise, I, I've, I've I've beat him every every aspect, and uh, yeah, I, I think my best beats his best. Okay. Well, so there's there's a few interesting fights that could be made, but yeah, your focus July 10th. So listen, best of luck. Uh, head of that fight and we'll talk fight week Zach alright thanks very much for your time nice one mate cheers